Hello, my classy people. Wayne Baldwin here at the Speed King Channel. Hope everybody's having a great week. It is hump day. It is Wednesday as we head towards another weekend. Of course, as always, I ask you to turn your closed captions on so that way you can see what we're talking about going across the screen. That is our editing software. That's what we use. And as always, our tip sheets are available for any track in North America. Just email me at speedking24 at yahoo.com. They're $20 per track. Great way to support your Speed King for sure. Well, um, we're going to take a look at some stake races. It's pretty heavy laden this weekend. But over there at Aqueduct, race number nine is the Cigar Ma. How good was Cigar? I think trained by the one and only Mr. Billy Mott. It is a small field of seven. You know some of the actors. We're going to dial into our top three picks and let the other pretenders fall to the wayside. Now, I'm going to tell you the Cigar Mile this year is a grade one. Uh, obviously going a mile for 700,000, small field of seven. But... Yeah, you know some of the actors and who's probably going to be the favorite in here. And I think the horse, uh, Zandon, probably will be the favorite, the number two. Uh, but I'm concerned about the mile distance, uh, to be quite honest with you. I mean, the horse doesn't get up at a mile and a quarter. I think he won once at a mile and the eighth. And uh, I probably should be wearing my Zandon t-shirt. Um, but to me, it's his race to lose the number two horse. It's not going to be my top pick in here. Uh, for sure. He's going to be my third pick, but uh, we want to give him his due, but I am really, really concerned uh, with the distance in this race for Zandon. Uh, the flat mile, I'm not sure, I mean, unless he's just better than these, okay? He does have the best speed number in the race, has been tangling with the best three-year-olds in the country. We can't even, you know, no doubt, no horse runs his eyeballs out. So I'm not negative on Zandon. I'm just concerned about the distance. Should save ground, uh, of course. Has the genius in the arms. Um, uh, Rosario and, uh, of course, is Chad Brown and company. So we know the horse is fit. We know that he's ready because Chad gets him ready. And we know he's going to get a pristine ride down the lane. The question is, will somebody get away? Okay. So pound for pound, I think it's Zandon's race to lose, okay? Uh, I think he's going to be very, very short because people are going to look at the running line in the Pennsylvania Derby. Uh, he ran uh, second to uh, Taba, okay, and Cyber, he beat Cyberknife. He's always been in against Epi Center uh, like that in the uh, Jim Dandy and in the Travers and, of course, uh, he's got a head blown off in the Kentucky, well, actually ran really good in the Kentucky Derby, ran third. So, we know Zandon's going to be over bet. That's we do know. The one takeaway here that I'm real concerned with at a very, very short price is the distance, okay? Um, the horse is a typical deep, deep closer in a lot of ways. This is a small field, so I'm not sure how far back he'll be. But um, the distance concerned me, so I'm going to make him my third choice in here. And my first choice in here, well, we're going to go right to a community favorite, right? A Speed King Channel favorite, White Hawk Burial. Well, the old pretty horse. Have you ever seen anybody prettier than the number three horse, White of Burial? This here white gray coat. Uh, I think has taken a step forward. Only nine starts um, in, a, in his life. Four wins, one second, and one third for sure. For almost a million dollars, 900. It is Safi Joseph Jr. doing the conditioning, 22%. He went and got IRAD together. They're 20% together. And I don't, he doesn't need an introduction, particularly at our channel, because we all love White of Ariel. And he hasn't won since April, I believe, down there uh, in the Florida Derby, of course. And, of course, he won the Holy Bull uh, stake as well down there at Gulfstream. And has raced four, five, or six times since then. And has not won a race since April. Um, to me, this race sets up for him nicely. Because he is very, very speedy. Now, I think he was at a disadvantage uh, September 24th in the Pennsylvania Derby. It was a full field of uh, 11. He drew the 11-hole 
raced him out, of course, to get to the first turn and got over, but he still must have lost some ground that day and eventually just got wore down by my top pick, Simplification, who ran fourth in that race, and Taiba, as you well know, ran first, and uh, Zandon ran second. So that's why Zandon's going to be over bet. But I believe the post position draw really compromised White of Burial's chances from the 11 posts in the Pennsylvania Derby. Now, since then, September, the horse has been turned out, has been freshened up by Safi Joseph some 70, 72 days ago, now returning in the Cigar Mile, cutting back from a mile and the eighth, a mile and 16, and I'm thinking that this may be a mile horse instead of a, 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 a may at the best, a mile and 16. So, again, I think the horse is sitting on go-go. He did draw the three-hole this time should get out. I uh, don't think he's actually going to get to the lead. I actually think the number seven horse, Mind Control with John Velasquez, will get to the top. Uh, so that would uh, make a nice target for White of Barrio to sit second. We like White of Barrio. We all love him here at the community, right? Uh, just a pretty, pretty horse. Only nine starts. I think that last race is a race where he broke through and went forward, even though he finished fifth by eight from the 11 hole. I think you're going to see a different white of burial here for sure. Uh, we do have the services of IRAT, so we know he will be hustling. I suggest that he break second behind uh, the number seven horse mind control and then get the jump on, of course, Zandon, who will be making up a ton of ground. So our top pick in this year's Cigar Mile will be white of burial. We like him. Everybody in the community like him, and we think that he has a great opportunity to get a uh, grade one win under his belt. Our second pick, well, you're not going to have to look far, right? Mind control. We think mind control is the speed of the race. Even though he's outside of White of Barrio, I would employ IRAT to let Mind Control go. But that being said, Mind Control is a win machine. 11 wins from 28 starts, 3 seconds and 6 thirds for 1.7 million. It's Pletcher, yeah, that's right, the guy in the Italian suit by Stay Thirsty and he went and got the old Johnny V. Johnny V always rides this horse and of course he knows uh, what to do. Now the speed figures are a cut or two below, that's why I employ uh, IRAD to let uh, on uh, White of Burial to let Mind Control go. But you got to be careful because with Johnny V on the lead, you can't, uh, you know, let him walk, sleepwalk you out there. So I'm willing to take the speed. I think this uh, the pace of the race is really going to dictate the winner here. I don't think they'll be going awfully fast. So our second pick here uh, is the speed uh, of the speed. I think it's Mind Control, the number seven. It is Pletcher and Johnny B. And of course, our third pick and the horse that they all probably have to beat just from a class standpoint and uh, just a quality, quality horse is Chad Brown's number two horse. Uh, we think he's going to be three to five or four to five, probably. Uh, Zandon. Two wins only from eight starts. This horse is a lightly, lightly raced three year old with a lot of improvement. Now, for a three year old to have eight starts and only two wins, three seconds and three thirds, which means he's never not hit the board in all eight starts, he has $1.4 million. So the upside for him, he's by upstart. So the upstart upside for him is that as a four-year-old, Zandon's going to be hell on wheels. This is a very, very nice horse, and uh, other than the fact that I'm questioning that he wants to go further than a mile and he's going to be a short price, I think we should look to try to get around him. But that being said, clearly, he's the horse to beat, and we're going to try to do just that, but he will be on my pick five tickets. Of course, he's our third pick in here for sure. So there it is in the city or a mile, we're going to go ahead and lean to the fan favorite here at the studio, the White Barrio. We're going to think Safi Joseph, uh, off the nice layoff, is freshened up and can get to the top or sit in a catbird seat behind our second pick, the number seven, Mind Control. And we're going to round it out with 
our third pick, Zandon. Now, is there a wise guy horse? Yeah, the number four, get her number. Well, I always like get her number. But to me, this horse is just overmatched. Now, the reason that I bring it up is because you hear me ramp and rave about Peter Miller. This horse's speed figures does not measure up to the rest of these horses in here. However, it's Peter Miller. I'm not sure what Pete does to these horses when the money's on the line, but they show up and they run. Now, I'm not suggesting Pete's doing something wrong. I know he took a hiatus uh, five, six, seven months ago, but just keep an eye. If you're playing Super Effectus, throw the number four. Keep uh, Get her number underneath. Anytime you see Peter Miller and it's grade one, it's big money, the horse may not look like one of the top tier, but somehow Peter gets them to run. He is an awfully, awfully good money trainer. Peter Miller. Get the horse underneath. There it is in the cigar. It's white of burial all the time. Our second pick, Mind Control, the number seven. We're going to round it out with the likely winner and the horse they all going to have to beat, the number two, Zandon. So for us, it's three, seven, two, in that order. This year's Cigar Mall. Let me know what y'all think for sure. Let's get the old pretty horse around the racetrack. The old white of burial. A studio favorite. A Speed King favorite. And of course, all of our fans out there love white of burial. If for no other reason, the horse is just so pretty. And the mere fact that he is so fast, that just adds injury to insult for us. We just love the light of burial. Talk to y'all real soon. Stay classy in everything you do. As always, 